Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to be picking up where we left off and we're going to be creating our own functions. Alright, and we've talked about keywords before. We've done, we've learned about for and in. Now we're going to learn about def. And it's def. Alright, so hello that's going to be the name of the function and there are some rules about creating a function you have to use the keyword def have to name your function you can have stuff or not have stuff in here we'll deal with putting stuff in there but just like our purple in parentheses our function has to have a first and a last start and a finish beginning and end however you want to think about it two parentheses and then colon the most important part is here if you get rid of the colon you're gonna get a syntax error so Python's gonna say I have no idea what you're talking about so you put the colon there and Python goes okay I know what you're talking about so we will just want to print hello so if it's not a number it's a string so strings live inside quotation marks so all right, just like our for loop, it'll sit here and say, hey, you have anything else you want to do with this hello? I'm like, no, that, we just want to print hello. So now we just created it, went into memory. So now, just like our string, excuse me, just like our calling a variable, we're going to call our function. It's going to print hello. Now, all right, that's some pretty basic stuff now why don't we now we're actually going to start using the script and the way you go about doing that I went a little too fast so all right this is the shell this is idle now the way that you're gonna build more sophisticated programs it is you're gonna need to store all those things in a script and the way we go about it we go to file go to new file and then we open up and let's just go ahead and shrink this down so we can make it fit nice and neat right here so alright go to file again save as because it needs to know what we're just gonna name it function override it okay so def hello now, why don't we actually take in some information? So, same rules, def, so we're actually taking in taking in information here. So, uh, now also, here, you don't get the same throw up if you don't put your colon. But, as you can see, it does not indent. And in Python, indentation, white spaces, very, very important. So, and you can also draw your attention down here that column four I have it set in standard practices typically is four four indentions oh and tabs and spaces are not the same you will you, uh, Python will throw up all over the place so what I recommend is whenever you have that was just one backspace is when you screw something up don't try to space forward or tab forward I delete the previous line wherever it does an error just like this and Python will always tell you where you make a mistake so um, so all right I backspaced up here and it indents for me so print X so now now all right you can do this two different ways you can come up here to run and then come down here to run module it's gonna ask you to save and just like before where we called where we called our function we call it again but this time we have it set where it's going to take in information a string and it's going to print it out now this isn't this is a programmer using something as a programmer a person a user end user is not going to know that 
their name needs to live inside a string. So there's ways around this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to delete this. We're going to go back to not call, not taking any information, just running it. Now here's a new function for us: input. And that's exactly what it sounds like. It's going to take input, so it's going to pause in the middle of the program wait for input from the user and that is going to be assigned to the variable x and then printed out now also this is going to be one backspace watch one backspace now over here we came and called the function right well there's ways around not having to have to call it we can actually put it in the script itself now make sure that you do not have this inside the inside the function see how this is not indented and there's a space below so it's nice and clear to read so now I'm going to do my F5 because look F5 it's a hotkey so I press F5 get the same save and OK and I get OK enter Sam and it prints it out nice and neat for me. Now, all right, let's actually let that be. So I hope you guys got something out of this. Hope you enjoy it, and see you next time. We're going to do more with uh, for loops and a new function called range. All right, thanks. See you next time.